Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is doing me going doing Q3 of the bi weekly contest 81. Um, maximum XOR after operation. So, I think the first part and the maybe trickiest part is try to figure out what, what is this, right? Um, and honestly, I think that's the hard part. And once you figure that out, it, it does become easier. A little bit spoiler alert. Uh, do, 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 do. But yeah, let's say, say you know, we have this, right? And X is the number that we choose. So, these are the previous number, right? So, here, the way that I would think about it is by using a truth table, right? So, because these are all bitwise operations, so then we can we can assume that um, every bit inside the same number is independent of each other, and because you can, um, this is already exists, so you have no control over it. Same thing, and here you can choose bit by bit, and also because you can do it infinite number of times, you can just do it one num number at a time if you have to, right? So basically, you have something like x and uh, x x or y right or maybe that's confusing because that's x in the thing so okay so let's just say a for maybe a number and then this right and then this is just going over the truth table for the except for uh yeah and then a of x and then result right so a you know this is zero zero if this is zero then you know the n is going to win it out right so you know this is going to be one but what if a is one right a is one and x is zero well, then this is going to be 1, so this is going to be 1. Uh, otherwise, hmm. otherwise, if A is 1 and X is 1, what is this, right? Well, this is going to turn into 0, and then this also means that this is going to be 0. And so, the, the thing to notice here is that the only thing that changes in this, um, uh, in this operation is that we flip an original A, one to zero so by choice we have no we can't make any decision with zero so if a is zero in that bit no choice otherwise we can tr um, convert it from one to zero so we can flip it off and so and here the the question is the maximum of bitwise xor right so what does that mean that means that um and this is the next step of it and it's a very kind of tricky logical thing is that that means that x what does XOR mean, right? Um, in a greedy, in a greedy kind of way, you want each bit to have a one, right? Because that's that's what the problem asks for the maximum number, right? Um, and then the second part is XOR. What does XOR mean? How do we get a one in a digit? Well, we get a one in that digit if there are number of ones in that digit, right? Meaning that, um, yeah. I mean, I think that should be obvious. Or just like you could prove it quickly, right? Like if you have all these and you have three ones, well, the X of all these sequences is going to be one. If you have even number of them, then it's going to be zero, right? So then narrowing that down a little bit more, that's basically the idea is that doing it bit by bit. And when you, whenever you see XOR in, in these kind of way where there's, there's no a, uh, regular add or subtraction or anything like this, and it's just XOR, um, then you can think about it as each bit being independent from each other and then therefore you want to greedily find a one for each bit um, and that's basically the idea is that okay well because so now putting the XOR properties together with the operations that we're given that means that we can convert a one to a zero but that's it right so that means that if we have have so then the idea that I had in a greedy way was that if there's at least one, um, if there's one one, then we just leave it alone, right? Obviously, makes sense. If there are two ones, what do you do? Well, if there are two ones, then you convert one of them to be a zero so that you have one one. If you have three ones, you can do it two ways, right? You could convert to one one or three one, it doesn't matter, or stay three one as long as you have a one. And then you could kind of see the pattern here is that as long as you have one one so the only way that we're forced to keep a zero is if they're all zeros in that digit so that's basically the idea and that's basically the result is that okay we start by having a count for each of the 32 uh, i think i in python that i it's easier to be sloppy so if you're watching it from another language you know my bad um, but you can think about this as a long long if you want to use another language because i know that this is like a little bit extra but i just want to make sure uh, especially since it's 10 to the 8. But in any case, um, yeah, so I just count whether that every bit has a 0 or 1 in that area. If so, then we increment by 1. Um, and then at the way end, we just see if uh, on that bit location, whether it has 
at least one number. Whereas at least one, then we keep it. And that's pretty much it. Um, because you can only make the problem... Uh, I, I want to say you, you can only make the numbers worse by using it unless there's already an... Uh, unless there's an even number and then you convert it to an odd number, right? So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. What is complexity? Uh, space is going to be O of 32 or O of... Um, let's just say... Uh, o of L where L is the size of the... Um, of the integer or the length of, or the um, the range, if you will, um, or, or of log of the range, depending on how you want to define it. But yeah, number of bits inside each number. And in terms of uh, time, it is also that, uh, let's just say uh, B is equal to number of bits, then this is going to be O of N times B time and O of B space. Um, because for each one, you can see that we, you know, do o of b for o of n and this is an o of one operation and just look up and this one is just o of b so yeah uh that's pretty much it you can watch me solve a live in contest now And numbers x or six seven. Can we change six to two? So any number of operations, maximum XOR. Huh. What does that even mean? What is this operation here? What's XOR? Let's say that. But if this is zero, then this doesn't make any sense. This is just very confusing, but okay. Mm -hmm. You always wanted to do it sometimes. Just one number, right? So it's zero, we can make one number. Okay, fine. Well.
if you're already done. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest, today's problems, and st all this stuff. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health, stay safe out there. I'll see you later. Bye bye.